Hey everyone, welcome back to Two Idiots Review. I'm Caleb. And I'm Hannah. And, and we're talking Luke Cage Season 2. Uh, oh, yeah. We actually finished it a little while ago. We've just been kind of busy. Kind of slacking. <laughs> yeah, it's slacking a little. Um, but yeah, so we're going to talk all things Season 2. If you haven't seen it, I don't know why you clicked on it. Um, yeah, I mean at this point, I mean, we're we not really, we can't yeah, really do a spoiler really free. free. Just, it, it was good, that's the it thing is that. Yeah. It was better than Season 1, so even if you didn't like Season 1, we felt like Season 2 was, was better, better, so... so Give it a watch, you know, it's a really Subscribe good Subscribe and episodes. like, and then you can click off. <laughs> and then comment um, and let us know that you watched it, because we told you to. <laughs> I like having that power over people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so season two. Um, I felt like it, because season one started off very, very slow. It was a very slow build. Well, um, I, feel like, I feel like... And I feel like it has to be, you know, to an extent... But this one, season two, just kind of, like, jumped right in, like... Well, for season one, I felt like it started off okay. Like, I feel like the first episode or two, like, it was engaging, but then there was, like, that middle period where it was just well, kind of dragging on for a okay, long time. Okay, so my biggest issue with season one, we're going to sidestep season two for a second, was they did all this character development for Cottonmouth, and then they killed him off. <laughs> and, like, episode, <laughs> and, like, like seven. And up, yeah, six or seven or something like that. And he, I actually really liked his character, so when they killed him off, I was like, well, what? What are we doing now? <laughs> it almost felt like a like season like one A and then season like one B. Yeah, and all of a sudden like um. So the what's well, season name? one like kind of setting up? I mean, the yes, Diamondback came in and like whatever, but they were kind of setting up Mariah to kind of be the big bad for season two, which she, she was, was and she, she wasn't. wasn't. <laughs> like so, she was like Luke's big bad, but then she had her own big bad, <laughs> which was something that was interesting in yeah. season two was that Luke, you know, Luke had the. Um, had the problem of two villains going at each other. Yeah, and then... Because, like, they were, you know, Mariah and, um... And what was his name? Bushmaster. Uh, Bushmaster. I'm so bad. Uh, back in That's not what it was. Uh, yeah, Mariah and Bushmaster, like, they had the feud between each other and hated each other, and they were, you know, essentially crossfire, you know, people were getting, yeah. getting caught in the crossfires of their whole feud, and so then, like, it wasn't, like, the typical, oh, like, Luke has to stop a bad guy. It was more of, like, oh, do I... Do I let do, do I, I let, let them kill each other, other? or yeah. do I get her? But you know, like the underlying for was everything was that they still wanted to take Mariah down. Like they didn't, and they know, wanted to do it the right way. Yeah, like, they wanted her to go to prison. They didn't want to just have them kill each other because then it's just like, well, you know, they, that wasn't really like justice in it. So they were still trying to take down Mariah legally. <laughs> um, but so I have to say, so Alfred Woodard, I'm a fan. She had a lot of ranges in this season as Mariah because Mariah was all over the place. She was like insane sometimes. There were times where she was like still kept her like political like composure. face. Yeah, composure. And she was just very like, no, but she, yeah. So she got, she had a lot to do and it was nice to see the different, um, kind of like seeing all the different, things that her character one has been through like we learned that her uncle basically raped her and then she gave birth had a child that yeah she had, yeah had a child that she never wanted um so like it was interesting to see all of the kind of filling in some pieces with her backstory a little bit and then she just kind of embraced towards the end it took her a while to get there but towards the end she just kind of embraced being a stokes and that made bushmaster happy because then he didn't have to say no, Stokes. <laughs> Her name is Mariah Stokes. That was like, every time they would say Mariah Dillard, and then she, he was like, no. <laughs> that made me laugh every single time. Um... Yeah, well, her character, yeah, it, especially from the beginning of season one, like, oh, till yeah. now, like... She just went from, like, like, complete... Like, she went, like, she went, like, Shane from Walking Dead. Like, she went, like, completely, <laughs> like, crazy, like, burning people in, like, diners and, like, just watching him, like, sit there, yeah. like, burn and scream till finally she just... Not, she didn't kill him out of, like, mercy. She was just tired of him not dying yet. And so yeah. she's like, I'm going to shoot him. And I'm like, oh, like... Yeah, and that's where, that that's where really Shades took a turn. Because he yeah, had been kind of with her, like, and then he was just kind of like, oh, okay, now you've gone now you've gone too far here. There is an um, honor among thieves. And he kept talking about, like, the rules and, like, you know, yeah. she was breaking the So I know a lot of people don't like Shades. I actually like Shades, and I liked... Yeah, I liked, I liked his liked, character from the beginning. Um, yeah, I liked his character from the beginning, and I kind of knew... Even before he actually did, that he was going to turn on Mariah. Like, there was, like, these little little breadcrumbs, and I was like, he's going to turn on her, because she's being crazy. Um, 
And then, you know, eventually he did. <laughs> now, it's going to be interesting to see where they take his character. Well, he's in jail now. Because, yeah, he... Nah, but he might not stay there. He, like, yeah, he did a plea deal, but then Mariah died. Oh, yeah. And then, so his plea, deal, his plea deal was waved off, but they have him recording saying all the horrible things he did. So they're like, oh, by the way, you're, now you're going to prison. Um, but, yeah, so... It'll be interesting if he's going to be in the next season and how that's, if, or is that just, they're just going to side. I really want to see a couple of scenes with him and Kingpin. Yeah, that would be jail cool. together. Yeah. Like maybe setting up for something else. Like maybe, you know, they're going to be in some future uh, seasons, whether it's like Daredevil season three or season four or like or whatever maybe they'll they want to incorporate. Or hope Defenders that they keep doing. Well, I keep, I hope that they do uh, um, the Heroes for Hire and have a Luke Cage Iron Fist. Like, oh, yeah. But, yeah, so it would be nice to kind of see. I'd like to see them kind of pair up as, like, a criminal duo yeah. for, like, future. Yeah, because they're both very calm. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know, because Kingpin, he kind of, he was emotional well, a lot in that a little bit, season. but he was still, like, even when he talked, when he talked to you, he was just I mean, yeah, like, he, I mean, he definitely like, had that composure yeah. where he would, like, but then there was times where, like, they would just, like, insult Vanessa or whatever, and he would smash her face in with the oh, door. Oh, well, I mean, door. yeah. So, I mean, there was, he was, well, he can't you know. Well, he can't insult his girlfriend. Um, but, so, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what they do with Shades. Um, I liked, I mean, and I've liked Misty from day one. I've always kind of liked her character. Um, so I liked but she's her, got that up to a whole <laughs> yeah well I liked her arc like I liked her arc from the first season of Luke Cage in through the Defenders and then into this one and Defenders she loses her arm so it was interesting to kind of see and I'm glad they didn't wait too long to give her her robotic arm yeah because like the way it was going I was like is this going to be like the last episode and like she gets it on I wanted to see her with the arm and like you know fighting and doing stuff I thought it was going to be, I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly, I'm not as familiar with her character in the comics, but I, w- I was expecting a little bit more of, a, like, a high-tech, like, robotic arm. Like, I thought she was going to be able to do, like, you know, I don't know, like, have, like, missiles shoot out of it or something, <laughs> or, um, I don't know, but something, like, it's, I mean, this could just be, like, you know, the first protocol or whatever, or whatever. like, this could just be, like, the first arm that she gets, prototype, and maybe, yeah. prototype, there you go, and maybe she um, gets, like, another one, um... But, yeah, so it, I'm glad I didn't wait too long. I did like the fight scene with her and Colleen where she didn't have it and she went to go swing and then she was just like, oh, crap, I don't have an arm. I felt kind of bad at myself for laughing at that. but I, I, I mean, <laughs> but then, like, she still kicked the crap out of those guys with one arm. So I was just like, eh, that's what you get. <laughs> and then I like that Colleen just sat there and was like, you got it, you got it. And then she's like, oh, I guess, I guess I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Luke Cage, this season two, did the impossible, which was make me actually like, start to like Danny. Because I have not, I did not like Iron Fists the first season. There were some things that I liked about the first season, but he was not one of them. Um, so, and then he was a little bit better in The Defenders. But this, the one episode that he was in, I was like, I think I'm, uh, am I starting to like Danny? Like, I don't know what's going on. Um, so hopefully that continues into his second season because... First season, Danny was not great. Um, one thing I didn't like about this season was Claire was Claire's been one of my favorite characters throughout all of the series because you know, Netflix yes. Universe. So I was kind of like her whole purpose just seemed to be kind of like, oh, you're angry, you need to work through your anger, and then it's like. And then she left, and then it was like, oh, okay. So, <laughs> so uh. I was kind of, I didn't like that they didn't, like, utilize um, Rosario Dawson and kind of, you know, kind of use Claire a little more. I mean, I know it's, like, Luke Cage, but it, I don't know. And then, like, at the last episode, like, she comes back. We don't see her on screen, but she comes back, and then he, like, dismisses her, and I was like, oh. He's, like, a crime boss now. Yeah, well, and that's another thing we'll have to get into, because I didn't like the ending. Um, but so there was... It was definitely a lot more action-packed. I did like that every time people would start shooting him, he was just like, oh, come on, guys. I know. It's like, how, like, how long? Like, you should know me by now. Yeah. Like, I mean, at least in the, in the opening scene of the first episode when they're shooting him and they're like, we just have to just so we can say that we did everything. And he was just like, okay. Like, <laughs> but well, then, everybody well, then, else is like, oh, we're shooting. And I'm just like, come on. Well, then I think he even referenced it later on in the second season where like people were shooting at him. And he's like, what? Like, do you guys just have to see if it's true or not? He's like, come on. <laughs> So, um, but, you know, it's, they set up a lot for season three. So season two, we find out Mariah's daughter is actually the villain Nightshade. Um, right. Which, I mean, I didn't which know. Which I liked her as a good character. I did like her as good. I didn't know too much about 
the characters, but in the very, like, last episode, she's like, oh, you know, her name had been Tilda Dillard this whole time, and then all of a sudden she's like, no, my last name is Johnson, and I was like, okay, so I have to search that up, because that's, like, that seems, has to be yeah, that has to be, she wasn't just saying that for, like, no reason, then I searched it up, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense, so, and, you know, Nightshade, she was, you know, doing stuff with all that. So, yeah, so they kind of set up her a little bit. Um, I don't know that she'll be the villain of season three, but they've kind of put her on that path. Um, Which I totally saw, like, when she had, like, kissed her, like, mom or whatever. Oh, yeah. I was just like, she has to have poisoned her right here. And then, like, you know, they kind of kept in the episode, kind of kept going going, on. And I was like, nor did she. And then all of a sudden she started, like, coughing up blood. And I was like, ah, ah, I knew it. (laughs) Yeah. I called it. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So, yeah, they definitely kind of put her on that path. And I like, um, I didn't like also the ending with Luke Cage. I don't like that he's becoming, like, he's supposed to be, like, you know, the crime boss, but, like, the good one. Um, and other characters didn't like him taking that either. Like, the kid that worked, yeah, that was selling, yeah, in the barbershop didn't like it. And <laughs> selling you could, all the merchandise. Yeah, selling all the merchandise. Um, and you could tell that at the end that Misty didn't like it either when he, like, dismissed her. Like, it was like, oh, you know, what, <sighs> she just kind of had this look like, uh-oh, have we he... created some sort of monster? Because now not only is he physically powerful, now he has, like, this power the crown in, jewel in yeah. Harlem. And yeah, so I'm like, you know, she kind of had this look on her face like, oh, no. <laughs> well, but I mean, you know, he, he had to take the sacrifice in order to bring peace to... I mean, but he's not the type of character who yeah. was ever, like, interested in anything like that. Like, I don't... I honestly don't think, like, he wakes up in the morning and he's like, yes, I get to run this nightclub. Oh, but he didn't waste ball. any time putting on, like, the freaking three-piece suit. Well, he's got a... You can't just, you know, you can't go into it just whatever be like, oh, I'm just gonna... He do it wearing my worn. like. He's you, still wearing his hoodie. You gotta look the part. You gotta you gotta dress for. You gotta dress for success. You gotta you gotta look yes, the part. Yeah. And like you know, if he's what just kind wearing of success like, is he looking for? If he's just wearing like, well, the success of being a crime boss to uh, fill that void to so that there's not you know there there was no like takeover or whatever on the streets or the shoot ups or whatever he was trying to prevent. You know, there was that struggle for power that he now grabbed, so that way it kind of ended the the crime war. So, like, you, that's the success he's going for is peace in the streets, even if that means that his name is now kind of tarnished as a, you know, as a, the as a criminal, you know, yeah. figure now. But he's doing it in a good way because, obviously, he's not going to go to the lengths that Mariah did or Cottonmouth or any of these other people. Well, because he doesn't really need to because he's... Well, because he doesn't want to. He doesn't, he doesn't well, want power. He doesn't, in my opinion, he doesn't want more power or more money well, or but more I think at, anything else. At the start, I think he, he didn't. But even as, like, that end sequence was happening, like, I could kind of see, like... So what, or, I think they're setting him up to be a villain next season? No, season, I don't like think that? necessarily to be a villain, but I think there's definitely going to be some some back and forth and some backlash that he you know that he's gonna have to I don't know that he's gonna have to face because I just feel you know with Misty maybe being the new like captain uh, or the police chief or whatever the title is um I just feel like there's gonna be a lot I mean, a there, lot could of be, there, there could be some tension there which will make, might make for interesting uh, stories that are for season so three. should be interesting and without Claire who he should never have broken uh, well, she actually broke up with him, but then she came back, and then he was just like... Well, he didn't want to drag her into what he knew he had to get into, so he thought it was, you know, he was doing it for her to spare her from yeah. life of crime. Yeah. But, anyways, <laughs> any, anything else in the, uh... Um, no. I mean, I, you know, I thought season two was really good. I'm excited yeah, for a season three. I thought it was a lot better than season one. Um, I, it actually kept my attention, and I can always tell when I'm that I like a series is when when the episode ends that I'm like, well, now like, I have like to watch a, the next one. <laughs> know, it's like, uh, can, like can six I... hours of sleep or another episode of this. Five hours of sleep or another episode. Yeah, <laughs> so like when I, when I immediately want to watch the next episode, that's when I know. And I feel like more like the second half of the season had me doing that, where I was just like, uh, yeah, let's watch another one. Uh, like we, yeah, we let's had, watch another one. I think one. it was like one of the Saturdays, like we'd watch like four or five episodes like in one day. In yeah, but we started like late, so we were like, we went like into the night, because we were, I was like, yeah, let's just keep watching this. Let's keep watching this. Um, so that's how I gauge like if a series has really like hooked me. Um, and so I definitely thought that season two um, definitely kept my attention more than season one not that season one was bad um near the end of season one it started to get a lot better with the addition of claire um but that's why you don't like that. <laughs> that 
Um, but so, but yeah, I, I still thought that season two was better. Um, well, I can agree with that. But so, like, here's to hoping that they do a Defender season two. That would be nice. Now that right now, there's no talks of one. Nope. And so we'll see. We'll I see want there to be one. That. Otherwise, That'd I feel like nice. the Defender series would Even be... Even if it was just like a four or five episode, like it doesn't need to be like an eight or nine or anything like that, but I don't know. we'll just see. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have seen the second season of Luke Cage, let us know what you thought, your theories going forward. Um, like and subscribe. We got some more stuff coming up. We're filming a bunch right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that, and thanks for watching.